one. So I'm here today to teach you a George Strait classic. All right, this is Amarillo by Morning. I'm going to be really focusing on the key change uh, where it changes from the key of D up to the key of E. And I'm going to be focusing on the guitar feels here. All right, so let's jump right into the lesson. Hey, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me down below before we get started, okay? And then at the end of this video, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And then there's a bell icon down below. You can click that to stay notified of when I post new content. Also, if you click the link down in the description box below, that'll take you over to my Patreon page. Over there, you'll find tabs to this lesson. You'll find a Nashville number chart for this song and lots of other good stuff, all right? All right, I'm gonna play this slow for you. So the first feel we have uh, goes a little something like this. Okay, and you can also slide that. Um, you can go. If you wanna do that, okay. But uh, it sounds like they're bending it on the record. So we got. Okay. And what I'm doing there is I'm playing sixth fret uh, G string. I'm bending up a whole step. And as I'm bending that up a whole step, I'm catching the B string on the seventh fret. And then I'm releasing that, um, that G string back down um, to the regular pitch on the sixth fret. Okay. Then our next riff, this is probably the hardest, um, this is the hardest lick out of the whole um, thing here. So I'm gonna play it slow for you. So we've got down here on the 12th fret, we've got. Okay. And I do this with my first two fingers. Because I tend to fat finger it, you know. <laughs> I have big fingers here. So if I try to use my first and third, which is what I used to do here, you know, it seems like my fingers are just a little too fat for these smaller frets to do a, a lick like that, okay? So, um, so what I'm doing here, um, basically I'm doing 12th fret to the 14th, I'm doing a hammer on and pull off, okay? And then coming down to 14 on the B string. And doing the same thing, but after I do the pull off, I'm coming down to 13 on the G. So then sliding from 13 down to nine, right? And then from nine down to four. Okay, so. Okay, then I do the same riff. I repeat the first riff. Okay. Then this last little lick is really cool. This is an ascending, uh, kind of up the scale riff here. So it goes slowly. Right? Um, and you can resolve that last note on the E, on the 12th fret, little E string. Or you can leave it hanging if you want to there. I, I chose to resolve it, okay? So what I'm doing there, starting on the fourth fret, D string, and then playing the uh, sixth fret, G string, and then immediately coming down to the uh, sixth fret, or sorry, fourth fret, G string. Then five, four on B. Then I slide up to nine on B, and then seven on B and then nine on little E and seven on little E. And then slide to 12 on little E, play 11 and slide up to 14. So once again, really slow. Right, cool. So that's the whole riff. So once again, let me play it for you from top to bottom really slow, okay? All right. 
Cool, so there you have it. That's the riff. Now, let me just give you a little bit of a rundown on the chords. Uh, and I'm gonna have uh, a Nashville number chart uh, for the whole song, for all of the chords over on my Patreon page. Um, so let me, uh, but let me just kind of break down the chords for you and just give you a little rundown. So after the key change, we're playing E. Okay, then we're going up to G sharp minor. Right, and then A. And then E, okay, same chords again, E, G sharp minor, it's a minor seven actually is what I'm playing, then back to A, and then up to our five chord which is B, right, so that's basically the chords um, in, in the key of E, um, now it, it basically does that same thing again, except it does it. The, the, chord changes quicker right cool so in the key of D uh, where the song starts in your chords would be D and then uh, F sharp minor and then G back to D right up to A right cool so those are all of the chords uh, that are basically in the whole song so learn those chords uh, and you'll be able to play the rhythm to the song and like I said I'll have a number chart uh, that'll show you all of the chord changes and the chord layout it'll be over on my patreon page okay once again guys thank you so much for watching this lesson thank you for watching my channel here if you haven't already done so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below hit the like button if you like this video and then go down um, in the description box below uh, and click on the link down there uh, to go over to my patreon page and there's some more cool stuff over there okay thank you guys see you next time